So I guess the 8th of February will be released late as well because I'm recording it now and it is the 8th of February. So what are we doing here? This is on, the, on this day. Here we have some births, deaths, some events that happened and a fun fact. And today's fun facts are about Rome. Let's get started then. So born on this day in 1932 was John Williams, American composer for some of the most um, recognisable film scores of all time. Star Wars, Jaws, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, E.T. I could go on, Jurassic Park, one of my favourites. He was born in New York City in New York in 1955. Jim, the Anvil Neidhart, American professional wrestler from the WWF, also WCW, New Japan, C. WFI and Calgary Wrestling was born in Montebello, California. He died in 2012. He was the tag team partner of Bret the Hitman Hart for the Hart Foundation. One of my favourite tag teams when I first started watching them were wrestling. In 1980, Ralph Little, English actor comedian from things like The Royal Family, um, Two Points of Lager and a Packet of Crisp Plates, and is currently in Death and Paradise. He was born in Bury in England, who died sadly on this day then. So in 1932, Vincent and Mad Don Cole, Irish American mob hitman, murdered at the age of 23 by the Dutch Schultz gang. In 1995, William Lyons, a British automobile manufacturer, died at 84, famous for the Jaguar. And in 2017, Peter Mansfield, British physician whose discoveries led to the MRI and a 2003 Nobel Prize, he died at 83. What happened then on the 8th of February today? In 1587, Queen Mary, Queen of Scots, was beheaded in Frothenhay Castle, age 44, after being convicted of plotting to assassinate Elizabeth I in the Babington plot. In 1600, Vatican convict scholar and Frere Giugiardo Bruno, who believed in an infinite universe, the heresy and sentenced him to be burned at a stake because he believed in something that wasn't the church. How dare he? In 1927, gunpowder is used in a mining operation instead of mechanical tools in present day Slovakia. Reportedly, the first time explosives had been used in mining. In 1672, Isaac Newton reads his first Oxford paper before the Royal Society in London. In 1743, a comet C-1743C1, sorry, went into um, whatever mode it is when you just read them out like a robot. It approached within naught. 0.3901 AUs of Earth, and AU is the distance the Earth is from the Sun. It's about 19 million miles. Um, so yeah, it got pretty darn close. In 1879, Sanford Fleming's first post proposed adoption of the Universal Standard Time at a meeting in the Royal Canadian Institute. That's what NASA used. In 19. 26 Disney Brothers Cartoon Studios become Walt Disney Studios. Then we obviously got to go to our Barty friends, the Nazis. In 1940, lots a large ghetto established. The first site, the first large ghetto was established by Nazis in Poland. Then in 1942, Nazi architect Albert Speer appointed Minister of Armaments by Adolf Hitler after the death of Fritz Tots in an airplane crash. Shame it wasn't on that one really, wasn't it? In 1960, Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom issued an order in council stating that her, that she and her family would be known as the House of Windsor and that her descendants would take the name Mountbatten Windsor. Guess they had to get rid of that German sounding name, didn't they? In 1965, President Johnson deployed the first US combat troops to South Vietnam with 3,500 Marines sent to protect a key US airbase near Dayang. 
1971, Pedro Morales beat Ivan Koloff in New York to become the WWF wrestling champ. In 1983, can I just say this is the only um, NHL thing I'll probably going to get through this because this is the only player I've heard of and it's only through computer games. Don't watch ice hockey, it's not my thing. But Wayne Gretzky sets an NHL all-star record of four goals in one period. Whether that's been beat since, I don't know. Don't watch it. So some fun facts then on Rome. We got 12 facts for you. So modern Rome has 2,800 fountains and more than 9,000, so 900 churches. I felt a little longer. Nearly 700,000 euros worth of coins are tossed into Rome's Trevi fountain each year. The proceeds are donated to the Caritas to help those in need. The Romans have built a road network of 30, 53,000 miles by the early 4th century. Each Roman mile was about 4,800 feet and marked by a milestone. Giving birth to the saying, all roads lead to Rome. And I guess that's why a milestone is called a milestone. In ancient Rome, only free born men were allowed to wear togas, a sign of Roman citizenship. Women wore stolas and female versions of togas made from linen. The mascot of Rome is a she wolf that, that cares for brothers Romulus and Romulus, the mythological founders of Rome. Rome became the capital city of the unified Italy in 1870, taking the title from Florence. Law in Rome allows cats to live without disruption in that place they were born. Wild cats can be climbing the walls of the Colosseum and sleeping among the ruins of the Forum. Women in ancient Rome dyed their hair with goat's fat and bleached wood ash. The most popular colours were red and blonde. The first ever shopping mall was built in Rome between 107 and 110 AD by Emperor Trajan. It sold a wide variety of goods and grocery items. Rome's first university, the Saprinesa, established in 1303 AD, is the largest in Europe and the second largest in the world. Rome has a museum dedicated entirely to pasta. I guess it's like leeks then, it ain't gonna um, last. Well, I imagine it was hot, it'll all be cooked. So, Peter's Basilica inside the Vatican City is the largest church ever constructed. As it should be really it's a church and it's in the holy city anyway this has been on this day that was the 8th of february which is obviously today hope you've enjoyed this see you bounce